What's up, YouTube? So, I'm dumb. And I'm not happy about it because I had some good stuff for you guys. But, my microphone was on mute. Yep, one of those. I feel like that's probably maybe, I, or, I don't know, I, I said probably maybe. That may be a, one of the rite of passage things for somebody that's gonna make YouTube videos or something like that. I know that um, I often say that, um, you know, rite of passage in podcasting is going halfway through or all the way through an episode and then realizing it's not recording or something's, something's amiss. Um, so maybe, maybe it's just mine. The, 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 the bummer is, it, it's a really funny thing happened and I was, I was eager to share it. And um, so what I had was I had Harvey Berlander, I had you Darvish, and then Sanchez and Samarja. And I came on and I'm like, okay, I got Samarja and Sanchez in here. And if I get one of them, I'll, I'll do a gameplay video. And then I switched it to, you know what? If I get Verlander or Harvey, I'll also do one. Basically, as long as I don't get you Darvish, I'll do a gameplay video. Well, of course I got you Darvish because that's how things go. And so it was kind of funny. And I'm like, I'm, I, I'm showing it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm actually going to put this video up. Even though, you know, my, my plan, if I didn't get one of the guys I wanted to use, was to just delete the video and, and move on. So I had that, it was like a little four minute, four minute video, haha, we could laugh at me about my, my bad luck or whatever, no big deal. Then that game turns out to be epic. So I come on deep into the game, maybe, I don't know if it was the 11th inning or not, maybe it was the 12th, but either way, I jump on, I jump back on, I say, hey, this is that game from the other video, Let's let's kind of see how it plays out. And as you can see, I ended up pulling the W. They're not one nothing. It's you know these weird uh, box scores on MLB the Show this year. I think it was five four or four three. Five. It was five four. It was five four. Anyway, um, so I had that too, and I had I talked about some good things during that, and I'm just really bummed because I'm a clown and I didn't have my sound on. So. Uh, I put John Lester in, the prime John Lester. I've used it before to little avail a long time ago. It, 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 I was not successful with it, so I'm going to give it another shot here. So basically, whomever I get in this game, I will do a gameplay video of. So let's go ahead and jump in. As you can see, I'm at 19 and 1903 now. I'm on an 8-2 run over my last 10, so I'm starting to play better, and I'm liking it. And I'm tell, I tell you what, this... Uh, I don't know if you know. I don't know if this is the key or not, but this wedge, this wedge PCI, is uh, it's working for me, and I'm not above admitting when I'm wrong. And I talked about this in the uh, in the extra innings piece that obviously is not going to happen. Um, I'm not above admitting when I when I got something wrong, and I got this wrong. A lot of people said use the wedge. I thought that the dot in the middle would block the view of the ball and be too distracting and, and be problematic for me. And it just has it. And I actually kind of prefer it now. And it's only been four or five games hold the button too long and it ends up being a yellow throw. And I don't get that many throwing errors on the normal one. So I don't really see the inherent value, but I'm trying it. I'm trying. Jury's out on that one. The one where you're not really gonna sell me and it's, it's more a, a, a physical thing for me is um, analog pitching. I just don't have the finger dexterity for analog pitching. I can't make my finger go down and up in a straight line regularly. And I know not every pitch requires that. A lot of times, you know, you gotta angle it one way or the other. I can't make it go where I want is the problem. So anyway, let's get into it. This is Cubs Jeff Samarja. As you can see, four seam, slider, two seam, cutter, splitter. I've had some solid success with this card, I believe. Um, more of it might be, well, let's check the stats. More of my success might be on the stream team account that I have. So before we get into these numbers here, I don't wanna oversell and then we're gonna look at him and be like, oh, you suck. Yeah, 474. I know I've got my face caved in at least once with him on this account. And if you're gonna get your face caved in once in 19 innings, it's gonna raise the RA. And the whip isn't even that great. So I don't have a ton of success on this account. 
That I will freely admit. But I've had some success with it. As you can see, 167 against righties. He struggled against lefties. If I can figure some things out against lefties, I still like my chances. And I have probably three to four starts on the stream team account that have gone very well. So let's let's just get right into it here. And we and we get a lefty right out of the gate here. We get a test. Oh, you gotta give me that call. Why? Because I want it. Because I deserve it. Because I'm me. I guess you're not gonna get that one if you're not gonna get the first one. This guy's patient out the, out the gate here. MT Pockets is uh, an 1863. So about 40 points higher. Man, I had some really. Really interesting. I mean, uh, now I'm overselling it. But I I just really enjoyed that that extra inning bit there that I that I done for y'all. I thought it was gonna make for a good bid. Oh well. All right, first lefty out. I know he's a switch hitter, but he's batting lefty, and that's that's what matters. So, no, don't correct me on any of that if I call a switch hitter. You know, righty or lefty based on where they're batting. I know who's a switch hitter and who's not. For example, Carlos Beltran. But we're gonna get back-to-back -back lefties here for some margin to uh, to work against. I imagine that 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 pitch right there, like he probably should have swung at that. That's probably been the mistake that I've been having that le has led to the 271 average. Is that slider that doesn't slide? That's a devastator against opposite-handed batters. For what I hope are obvious reasons, of course. It just frisbees up there. And your toast. But, I mean, he works 98 with uh, five pitches. Now, I don't use a two seamer a lot, but even four pitches, that's perfectly fine. I'm a big fan of the splitter. So, you got yourself, uh, splitter's essentially a change up. So, you got that. You got the slider. I'm, I'm becoming more and more fond of cutters. If, if used properly, obviously, you need them to cut. They can be like sliders where if they don't cut, they're problematic. But you work in 90, 91, 93 with the, with the cutter and then come in 98 with the heat, that's pretty good. 96, 98. We'll go splitter again. Uh, just trying to get him to swing over the top. I'll just challenge him with a heater. I mean, if he turns on it, he turns on it. Okay, so that was a good one. I don't want to come back with another one. So I'm going to split them up. And it's a good pitch. That's exactly what I wanted. If he takes it, he takes it. You, ha you tip your hat and you've walked Stalker. You don't make a pitch that can get you beat on a full count of Stalker. Don't be afraid to give in a little bit. I I'm, I'm kind of coming around on that. I know that's been a flaw for me in the past where... I don't want to walk a guy. Um, you know, maybe walk arguably the very best hitter hitting card in the game and live to see another day. Yeah, you got to face Pujols, who's devastating as well. I imagine it's the Diamond 99 Pujols because he has the Beltran and the Stalker. I mean, this guy's got a stacked lineup. Come on, Paul, you got to be on that fastball. That's a home run. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm making pitches that – uh, on full counts that, yeah, I want them to be competitive. I want them to maybe encourage a swing, but if they don't and the guy's patient enough to take it, the guy or girl uh, is patient enough to take it, then so be it. I'm practicing a little patience there. I took a pretty juicy fastball, but we're back 1-1. I dropped the PCI. Yeah, I dropped it. Dang. I think he's going to come up with another heater. Or maybe he goes off speed. On t no, told you. I mean, you can't just say he's going to... You can't give like five guesses and be like, Oh, I got it right. But yeah, I, fe I felt high heat initially. Now on a 2-2 count. I mean, we've gotten three fastballs. One change. I don't know. I think he thinks the heater's the way to go. Told you, and I just didn't get it. 
I dropped the PCI, jeez. That's just my finger reacting poorly, my thumb rather. He's working this heater. Is this the uh, K9? Okay, oh wait. I was trying to see which which Strasburg was, was the diamond or the the gold. The gold has like a 97 K9. He might he might be better for some folks. I don't know. Dang, I gotta get that one. The top players do damage on that pitch. No 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 two ways around it. I don't consider myself a top player though, so I mean, that's something. But that, I'm, I'm one. My point there is that I need to improve on that. I like this guy's uniforms, Pensacola mullets. I think it's kind of in the form of the Pensacola blue wahoos. Even has some of their color scheme. I kind of like that pink stripe, just that that thin pink stripe riding down there with the pink numbers and lettering. That's pretty cool. You know, pink gets a rap as, as a girl color, but I think it can be incorporated well into into a uniform. And I don't, th I don't think colors actually have gender. <laughs> no one's talking to the color brown, and brown's like, Excuse me, I'm a man. Willie Mays must be his creative player. Uh, so I played a game this afternoon, and I got ready to do a video on it. I was I was psyched. I was like, okay, now it's my turn, because uh, I was facing Chris Medlin. Turns out it was his creative player. So the video ended before it ever started. I wonder if he does that on purpose to, to get people hyped, thinking, ooh, I'm going to face Chris Medlin. I'm going to merc that fool. And then it's like, oh, maybe not. Splitter. I'm going back to back splitter there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I like that, Tex. Nicely done. So that was nice there, too, because I had pressed triangle to throw to second, and he didn't after tagging. So I didn't have to worry about wasting that out at first and we still got the double play that's a cutter that didn't cut against Utley I'm doubling up on that splitter because I liked the result of that oh, good take good take you're still not going to get something in the zone though you can get 92 at your eyes here Challenge pitch, and I win. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I, I I really do like what this Samarja has to offer. Um, I do think it can be a useful card. I don't know about you folks in World Series. I don't know, but I know a lot of times I hear from World Series players that say, you know, you gotta have some, you gotta have some velocity, you gotta have something that moves laterally, something that moves up and down, and. Uh, or, or I guess moves down. Nothing really moves up, but you got the splitter for for, for something to bury. Uh, you got a slider and cutter to move laterally, and you got blazing heat. Like, what more do you really need? I got I gotta hit that. I gotta shut my mouth and focus and just hit that. Fighting, I'm fighting. One thing I will say about the per nines, I mean, they're only 73 for the hits and 78 for the Ks. Not awful, but obviously not great. But, uh, did I get that? Cargo? Get gone. D. 
dang, Deep Park. But, um, you know, it's got a 55 homer per nine, does Samarja, and that doesn't affect us. Like, that doesn't hurt us in online gameplay. And so, you know, he might be a little bit of a misleading 85 if you kind of balance that out, you know, and and or, or lift that from the equation and kind of assess him. Otherwise, he might be closer to an 87, 88 overall in terms of skills that matter. Another guy like that, and perhaps even more so, is uh, the, the Michael Pineda from the Seattle one. And I think I'm gonna do a video on him as well. He's an 84. He's got 85 hit nine and 80K, but, a, but also has a 55 homer and a 52 clutch. And the clutch, helps like it, it helps if it's good but i don't think it's automatically bad if if it's a 52 and obviously it changes things with runners in scoring position there we go, cano but um oh, if you want to that one, slip. but you're talking about a guy who's got an 84 overall despite an 85 hit nine an 80 k9 a passable 64 bb9 like that's not great but it's not gonna murder you uh, average 94 mile per hour fastball, so it means he can work up to 96 when when you're when you're gassed, and then the slider, cutter, and change, similar to what we're working with with, with Samarja, and so I think if you really kind of assess him on raw skills, boy, I was an hour late on that. Um, again, he's closer to maybe 86, 87. I think his control might be low too, and if and. You know, some folks can really mitigate that with the way they pitch, and I think analog mitigates some of that. I, again, I can't, I, I just can't use analog. I probably need to practice on it more, but I'm just not good with it. But if you can mitigate control deficiencies with with analog, then maybe you're talking about Pineda, maybe even being like, I don't know, like playing more like an 88, 89 overall, if you want to think of it in terms of that. So. Uh, I'm going to put him in the rotation at some point soon here and hopefully get a, get a game or two with him. And I'll be putting up a video um, going, over, going over his stuff. But let's get back to Samarja here. His control I don't think is like elite necessarily, Samarja's, but he's got control on, on some good pitches, like um, 90 on his slider. That's pretty nice. And then 72 and 74 on his cutter, in fact, four seam, four seam and cutter respectively, which is workable. The splitter only has 50 control, but 89 break. Challenge pitch. Was he on that? He was on that, okay. So let's, let's slow him down. Let's, off, let's downshift on him. Oh, good take. Good take. He wanted it. He noticed last second. Okay, we got Nolan Arenado here. I had, to take, I had to wipe a smudge off my glasses so I didn't see the stats. His hitting stats have not been terribly impressive with a lot of these guys. Now, I don't know if that just means that he grinded out some or if hitting is just not his, the major aspect of his game. You know, I've talked about my hitting numbers. They're not exactly elite with everybody either, so I'm not throwing stones. I'm just trying to get an assessment of what we're dealing with here. <laughs> it looked like you went around on that. I mean, he has a 251 average. Again, it's hard to contextualize those things because of things like grinding. But um, I don't ever grind. I've never grinded anything. I have a 277 average, so. And again, I don't fancy myself a tremendous hitter. And usually, if you grind it, um, the averages are like obscenely low. Unless he took out some of these players, I don't know. But I'm saying these these cards, like the, his good cards, have some mediocre numbers. I'm busting him in. I'm busting these lefties in, and I'm. I'm I'm getting those pitches in. I left a couple out. I remember uh, that slider. 
I don't know who it was too. It was, it, maybe it was Beltran. Uh, actually, no, I don't think it was. Wait until another lefty comes up and I'll remember it. But what the flip? Desmond, you're an 84 field, bro. What What's happening here? Did this guy quit? Like right when that happened and that's why he dropped it? What are we dealing with here? What's going on? Okay. That must have been what happened. But sometimes I'll pop up and I lose. Okay, I didn't. Well, I mean, we only got three innings. We didn't really get to dive in and kind of get through, uh, you know, the order in the fifth inning with a runner on or sixth inning or something like that and really kind of see what Samarja is made of. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but do kind of feel comfortable with, with, with what I showed. Were they calling that a hit? What just happened? Because that would have been... I don't know. When was the hit? Oh, did he get a hit very first? I think he did. The hit, was it a hit up the middle? Um, maybe it was Utley. I know there was a... I was talking about that slider. Maybe it was Utley. Either way. There was a lot of lefties in there. We made it through the lineup uh, with two walks and a hit. That's not so bad. Again, it's it, but it's tough to really... To really go off of that was the hit the very first batter we faced no that was pop out that's what i thought so they call that last thing a hit right it's grounded the second for a single yeah that's not a hit that's garbage anyway sorry it's not a longer one i'm still gonna post it i know kind of lame but there's jeff samarja I think I got my main points across. I do think this is a pretty solid card for an 85. I think it plays a little bit better than an 85. Don't judge it by an overall. Never judge a card just by its overall, by the way. I think that that's a, a dangerous idea no matter what, what kind of card you're talking about here. So, Anyway, let's see who we get next. Peace.